Welcome back, everybody, to Linda Larkin's birthday special. And we're going to play another game on the DOS, but it's Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. How will we do this game? We'll find out shortly. Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy! Today we have Wally Sims who's a computer programmer from Washington DC and we have Fred Blue who's a chef from, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Let's look at the dollar figures up on the board. We have one daily double up there so far too. Here are the categories. Starts with the letter K. President's Colleges, Mammals, Literature, Baseball Movies, and finally, Broadway Musicals. I can deal with these categories. I'll take um, Baseball Movies for 100. Dan Daly starred as this baseball pitcher in the Pride of St. Louis. Who was Dan Musial? No. No. Nolan Ryan? I don't think so. No. Dizzy Dean. You are correct. Found the Daily Double. You can risk up to $500. That's exactly what he's going to do on this clue in Broadway musicals. In the 1960s, Pia Zadora, Bette Midler, and Adrian Barbeau played Tevye's daughters in this show. Oh, I know it. And it's Fiddler on the Roof. He got it. Correct. Okay. To supplement his income, this MD wrote a study in Scarlet. Who was, uh, Philip Marlowe? No. Uh-uh. Arthur Conan Doyle. That's it. Pseudonym of poet George William Russell, or first initials of poet Hausman. What are A.E.? You are correct. I'll take literature for 300. Her father assumed the name Barrett when he inherited slave plantations in the West. Who is Elizabeth Barrett Browning? Right. Uh, for 300, uh, three, uh, 400, I mean. Angered by American piracies of his novels, he put down the U.S. and his Martin Chuzzlewit. Uh, who is Charles Dickens?
That's it. His modest proposal of 1729 was to cure Ireland's overpopulation by using babies as food. Who is Sinclair Lewis? Jonathan Swift. You are correct. <laughs> Grant and this other president were both graduates of West Point. Who is Harry Truman? No. Man, I'm not doing too good this game. Dwight Eyes. Eyes in power. Right. Let's go get the next one. The only president whose alma mater was Annapolis. Jimmy Carter. You are correct. He played Babe Ruth in the 1992 biography, The Babe. Who is John Goodman? You are correct. Uh, baseball movies for 300. Walter Matthau coached Tatum O'Neill on this 1976 baseball comedy. What is the Bad News Bears? That's it. Baseball movies 400. This comedy about a minor league catcher starred Susan Sarandon and Kevin Costner. What is Bull Durham? You are correct. Okay, let's close it out. In this movie, Mark Harmon as an ex-player reminisced about a babysitter who changed his life. Is it stealing home? Oh, I would have been right. Oh, well. Broadway musicals for 200. She played a mad woman, not just Fletcher, in Dear World, a musical version of a French play. Who is, um, Angela Lansbury? You are correct. This Cole Porter show was about a shipwreck, but was rewritten about the after the Morrow Castle disaster. What is the unsinkable Molly Brown? No. Titanic. No. Wrong too. Anything goes. Okay. Neil Simon, Bert Bacharach, and Hal David collaborated on this musical based on The Apartment. Promises, promises? That's it. Though closely related to 
related to rabbits, they are generally larger and have longer ears. What are hares? Correct. Livestock, not humans, are the most common victims of these bats who feed on blood. What are vampire bats? Right. The females of this mammal order found mainly in Australia have twin wombs and birth passages. What are marsupials? Yes. In Pierre Boulle's Planet of the Apes, Zyra and Cornelius are this type of ape. What are chimpanzees? That's it. Deepest divers of all whales, this kind has been found at depths of 3,700 feet. What are sperm whales? Yes. Sunday in the Park with George was inspired by his painting. Pablo Picasso? I don't think so. No. George Surratt. Okay. Let's go back to President's Colleges. In 1908, this former big man on campus, Yale's, that is, became a big man in the White House. Calvin Coolidge? No, I think he came later in the game. No. Let me try. Who was William Howard Taft? Yes. If Jefferson, Monroe, or Tyler had written Home for Money, it would have been sent to this Virginia college. What is I'm just gonna say it was the University of Virginia, but I really don't know. No. Damn. Bad guess. It was William and was it William and Mary? That's it. Okay. Popular type of Japanese theater. What is kabuki? You are correct. If a Scotsman's skirt is crooked, you might say it's out of this. What is kilt? No. Oh, man. Kilter? You are correct. This Chinese martial arts form combines the principle of karate and judo. What is, uh, 
Kung Fu. You are correct. Pretentious bad taste, especially in the arts. Klutz? No. Kitsch. That's it. Sudanese capital whose name means elephant's trunk. What is Khartoum? You are correct. Last clue. Herbert Hoover became a trustee of this Pac-10 school in California seven years after getting his degree. Stanford? You are correct. So this is Jeffrey Round. I have two thousand dollars. Wally has half of my amount. And Fred is 300, so he'll go first in the double Jeopardy round. And we're going to start that round here in a minute. And we have these categories. Celebrity authors. Medical myths. Presidents. Sports with the letter F. American history, and we're going to close it out with athletic actors. Okay. He asked us, ask not what your country can do for you. Who is John F. Kennedy? That's it. Presidential 400. Like America, his first initials were U.S. Who is Ulysses S. Grant? You are correct. His 12-year term was the longest ever. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt? You are correct. He's considered both our 22nd and 24th president. Who's Grover Cleveland? You are correct. Our only impeached president, he kept his office by one vote. Who's Andrew Johnson? Yes. Okay. I would like to go with um, American History for 200. Historically significant event of June 17, 1972. What was Watergate? Correct. I'll go with um, American History for 400, please. 1915, he chartered a peace ship and built his millionth car. 
Uh, who is Henry Ford? You are correct. Okay. I'll keep it going with, uh, for 600. Congress made this a holiday in 1894 as the government was trying to break the Pullman strike. Memorial Day? No. Wrong. Is it Labor Day? I think so. You are correct. On July 26, 1775, Congress established this service and put Ben Franklin in charge. Oh, the postal system. Yeah, I think so. Yes. This president froze wages, prices, and rents on August 15, 1971. Uh, who was Richard Nixon? Right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let me have an athletic actor. No. This Oscar-winning actor played in the 1950 British Amateur Golf Tournament. Ooh. Bing Crosby? Yes. He played for the Hanshin Tigers in Japan before joining the Detroit Tigers. Ooh. Cecil Fielder? Correct. All-time home run leader among catchers and American League leader in games caught. Carlton Fisk? Yes. Time, not this ground, stay awake drink, sobers people up. What is coffee? That's it. Okay. Let's go with medical myths for 400. Fried food or this candy bar staple do not really cause acne. What is chocolate? Correct. Keep it going. Triggering stomach acid, milk can actually irritate, not soothe, the stomach disorder. What is an ulcer? That's it. I will do 1,200. Here's the clue in medical myths. There is no real proof that eating this glutinous material makes nails strong. What is gelatin? Yes. I'll take um, a thousand, same category. Take, taking salt tablets in hot weather may harm these renal organs. What are the kidneys? You are correct. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going. I would like to have uh, athletic actors for 400. 
The star of Brian's song was once a professional rodeo rider. Who was Billy D. Williams? No. Not Billy D. Williams. James Kahn. Correct. Let's keep going. Radio and TV interviewer who called this book of showbiz anecdotes, tell it to the king. Who is Larry King? Is it Larry King? Right. Celebrity authors for 400. In Say Hey, this athlete said his dad taught him to walk using a moving baseball as a bat, as bait. Uh, who is Willie Mays? That's it. Celebrity author is 600. Stepson of Mary Pickford, he wrote about his days as a spy in South America in the Salad Days. Robert Ludlum. No. Robert Ludlum. That is incorrect. Is it Douglas Fairbanks Jr.? That's it. She was a three-time figure skating world champ and won a gold medal in 68. Who is Peggy Fleming? Right. Sports with, F for, sports with F for 800. The only driver to win Indy 500, Daytona 500, in 24 hours of Le Mans. AJ Foyt? That's, yeah, makes sense to me. Correct. The 64 Olympic heavyweight champion, he fought Ali three times. I were to buzz in, I would say who is George Foreman. No, it's Joe Frazier, so I would not have gotten it right. Good job on my part for not buzzing in. Mongoose R.I.P. is the eighth of his thrillers featuring CIA agent Blackford Oaks. Is it William F. Buckley Jr.? That's it. This Western movie superstar was once a lineman at Southern Cal. Who was John Wayne? That's it. Athletic Actors 800. This Dallas character turned down a chance to play pro football. Who is J.R. Ewing? No. Not correct. Bobby Ewing? You are correct. And it's like the other one. Let's keep going. Fred got the other daily double. He can risk up to a thousand on this clue, and that's what he's going to do. In athletic actors, this comedian wants box under the name Packy East. Packy East. Any idea who that might be? Bob Hope. Yes. He got it. <laughs> the 
nothing left on the board, and it looks like, from the looks of it, everybody will be around for Final Jeopardy after we see this clue. Elizabeth takes off as her story of the ups and downs in her weight and life. Who's Elizabeth Taylor? Yes. So the end is a double jeopardy dollars. Wally 5500 Fred 1700 Here is today's final Jeopardy category. Category is Olympic Country. It's a lock game and I can't be caught. I'm just going to do $400. Lock that in. Final Jeopardy answer is... Jose Byron winner of the 5,000 and 10,000 meters 72 and 36 competed for this country. That's my answer. Wally's in agreement with me. What about Fred? Finland. Well, let's see who's right. It is Finland. So I was close. It was not Sweden. It was Finland. But it does not matter because I still win with $12,200. Also called out a good game for sure. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and stop here for Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. And I'll see you all for another game. After this break.